let us discuss uh, one more problem today on three column cash book these transactions are belongs to may 1st so for the month of may 2016 from 1st to 30th they have given the transactions first they have given the opening balances okay that is balance of cash in hand it is 4000 and balance of bank it is 10000 so which type of balance is it debit balance or credit balance it is not mentioned so nothing is mentioned that means both are showing debit balance only so they should appear in three column cash limit under receipt side in the respective column okay okay let us see what we did see here three column cash book so to opening balance 4000 and in cash column and uh, bank it is 10,000 rupees we have recorded and there should be proper headings what you already know date receipt receipt number register folio discount allowed cash and bank column under left hand side debit side or receipt side then date payment voucher number register folio discount uh, received cash and bank so these are the respective columns under payment side the next transaction it is now on the third received cash from mamata 2000 rupees so this transaction you are receiving cash in what form if they are not mentioned is it in the form of uh, check or is it in the form of cash that means it is in the form of cash only now this we need to record under receipt side in mamata's account 2000 rupees and the transaction here it is continuing and allowed her discount rupees 100 total cash received it is 2000 and uh, uh, discount around is 100 rupees so in discount column we are writing 100 and uh, cash column we are writing 2000 next transaction it is on uh, fourth sold goods for cash rupees 3500 again one of the cash transaction we are receiving cash by selling the goods of rupees 3500 again in what form received not mentioned that means you receive in the form of cash only record this under receipt side in the cash column okay let us see what we did here see the sales account we made cash sales and we received the cash of 3500 that we recorded under here in cash column the next transaction here it is happening on uh, fifth cash paid into bank it is 3250 paid into bank 3200 rupees cash paid into bank means we made deposit into the bank so now cash balance need to be reduced and bank balance need to be increased to reduce we need to record under payment side in cash column and to increase we need to record in bank column under receipt side okay for the same transaction in both the columns both under receipt side and payment side we are making the transaction this we are going to call in the name contra entry see here by what we did that is on fifth first we are reducing the balance in the cash column that is 3200 rupees because we are depositing that much of cash from cash box to the bank so first we need to record under payment side 3200 in cash column and on the same day on fifth we are increasing the bank balance 3200 because we have deposited the cash into the bank so that is to be noted by writing c in ledger folio column that indicates this is one of the contra entry okay this is contra entry now the next transaction next transaction is this is on uh, 7 cash paid to neha 1400 and discount received 50 rupees okay so now we are making the payment of cash so record under payment side of three column cash book and in what form it is paid in the form of cash only so this should appear in uh, discount received column how much discount received 50 rupees and what is the cash paid that is in cash column it is 1400 so this is what the transaction we need to make 
let us see what we did the same we are doing here so neha's account so we are making payment to neha on 7th paid in the form of cash 1400 and discount received 50 rupees so like this we need to make the entry now see the next transaction this is uh, on 10th cash with the draw for office use 3100 so this is again a contra entry okay both sides going to affect receipt side and payment side where we need to reduce so in bank column we need to reduce the balance because cash is coming out of the bank and in cash column under receipt side the balance to be increased for the same date let's see what happened so on 10th we are reducing the bank balance 3100 because we are withdrawing cash from the bank that is the contra entry and on the same day bank well that cash balance has been increased because we withdraw cash from the bank so write c and c in this structure for your form so this is one of the contra entry okay now the next transaction this is uh, bought furniture and amount paid by check here you are purchasing the asset so furniture account is involved this is not the goods so furniture account you are paying in the form of check so bank is involved and we are making the payment so it will be recorded under payment side see here what happened this is on 15th we are purchasing furniture by furniture account and we are making payment in the form of check record 5600 in bank column okay next transaction this is uh, happening on uh, 18th received from suresh a check 1650 and discount allowed by him rupees 50 okay actually they allowed by him uh, printing mistake is there in the problem receive from Suresh a check so we are receiving the check then this is one of the bank transaction for this particular day but which type of check it is not mentioned in the problem and the check is deposited on the same day that is also not told in the problem in that what we need to do even though we are receiving the check we should record that in cash column only and what is the discount he allowed that we need to write in discount column so in discount allowed column it is 50 rupee and in the cash column it is 1650 rupee even though we are receiving that in the pharma check okay so this is what the special feature uh, you sh should keep in mind which type of check if it is not mentioned then we should assume that this is one of the ordinary check it is deposited or not or cash is withdrawn from the bank or not if that information is not available in the problem we should assume that cash has been withdrawn on the same day itself that's why even though you are receiving a receipt in the form of check you are not going to record in the bank column you are going to record in the cash column so that is what uh, we did here this is on 18th you can see 18th we are receiving from Suresh and we recorded this in cash column not in the bank column and 50 rupee in the discount column now they are giving the information uh, regarding uh, that particular check what happened so Suresh check paid into bank on 21st we received a, the check on 18th okay and that check is deposited on to bank on 21st the same check but on this in this day what assumption been made this is the ordinary check and cash has been withdrawn now that entry need to be cancelled and in that place this entry we need to make now this becomes one of the contra entry now in the form of passing contra entry we are going to cancel the previous entry what we need to so what balance we increased previously in cash column that we need to reduce so in cash column under payment side we need to reduce and under receipt side in bank column we need to increase for the same entry so this is what contra entry okay say this is my order when it is happened on 21st see here on 21st we are reducing the cash balance 
by writing a debt payment side because we are depositing that much cash into the bank even though we are not depositing actually previously we recorded in cash column we increased the balance now to cancel that or to reduce that extent we are writing under opposite side now this debit this credit the balance becomes zero and on the same day we are recording or we are increasing the balance in the bank column to the by showing that we are depositing the cash so this is the contra entry one balance reduced one balance increased okay this is happened on 21st next transaction this is on 24th issued sneha a check for and discount received 1100 rupees check is 1900 and discount received is 100 here this is clearly given okay we are issuing check so this is check or oh, check may be any uh, what any type of check either ordinary check or account pay check whatever if you are making a payment in the form of check so bank account to be involved here we are making the payment so bank balance need to be reduced we are going to write under payment side of three column characters in bank column regarding this and uh, discount we are receiving 100 rupees so in discount column we need to record 100 see we did the same or not let us check up in the next slide that is 24th what is happening so we are making payment to sneha how much 1900 rupees in the form of check we are recording in bank column balance has been reduced and she is allowing us discount 100 our business is receiving discount of 100 so we recorded in the discount column now on 30th paid salary 1850 okay so 1850 one of the expenses we are paying expenses paid in what form in the form of cash or in the form of check if that is not given what we need to assume we make made in the form of cash only so we are making the payment record under payment side which column we need to write in cash column we need to write okay see let us see what happened on 30th see on 30th we are making one of the payment for expenses that is for salary by salary and we are paying in the form of cash record in cash column 1850 so there all transactions we recorded at the end we need to find the balances of cash and bank columns and discount column just we are going to find the total so first let us see the discount column it is debit also 150 and credit also it is 150 actually it is not necessary that they should match each other even though they are going to match or not simply you should find the total 100 rupee and 50 rupee 150 rupee 50 rupee 100 rupee 150 rupee we are not going to find the balance of discount columns but cash and bank these columns need to be balanced so that first we need to identify which side is more so no doubt the cash balance it should be showing more under debit side if our cash is there in our hand now if you find the total of uh, debit or receipt side 4000 plus 2000 plus 3500 plus 3100 plus 1650 it comes to 14250 and the same you are going to write here in the opposite side that is under payment side 4000 that is 14250 from 14250 you are going to detect these items so 1850 minus 1650 minus 1400 minus 3200 you are going to get the balance of 6000 150 so this continues for the next month as opening balance okay this is may 2016 and this is for june 2016 on first it is showing a balance of 1000 that is 6150 in the same manner you are going to find the total of bank balance it is coming so 10000 rupees plus 3200 plus 1650 it is 14,850 from that total the same we are going to write on the credit side 4,850 deduct from that 3,100 5,600 1,900 so you will get the balance of 4,250 now 4,250 becomes for the next month opening balance so like this you are going to close this three column cash book so these are the opening balances and now these are the closing balances which is carried forward for the next month okay 6150 and 4250 like this you need to prepare three column cash book so in this problem 
there are three contra entries okay so we should give sufficient importance uh, in uh, passing these type of entry that is contra entry and all things are general if you are receiving cash that is on receipt side if you are making cash that is in payment side in which form it is received either cash or check cash means in cash column account payee check means in bank column if nothing is told about the receipt received in the form of check is it ordinary check and uh, uh, account pay check you should make the assumption that this is one of the ordinary check and again you should check up in the problem the check is deposited to the bank or cash is withdrawn on the same day if nothing is mentioned the assumption we need to make is uh, the cash has been withdrawn at the counter of the bank so that type of transaction happened uh, in this problem okay so 1650 the check what we received on 18th so that we recorded in the uh, in uh, receipt side of cash column but actually cash is not with it run it is deposited that's why in, on the day when we deposited so we reduce the cash balance and increase the bank balance by passing the contra entry so these type of simple adjustments will be there in three column cash book one question definitely appears for 12 marks okay so write down the problem and uh, according to the a uh, discussion what we are making here you can make the entries okay and you prepare three column cash book